Welcome back. We're here at Bell Tate's in Andover, and joining me now is Scott Poirier. He is the manager of the Small Engine and Repairs Department here at Bell Tate's. Thanks for joining us. No problem. Thanks We're, for coming and by again. <laughs> well, it's always great to host here, and I love coming here because it means it's almost spring. Yeah, exactly. We're talking about <laughs> small engines and things like that. Um, it's nice to know that that's on the horizon. Right. So yep. it's time probably now for people to bring in any repairs that they may need. Yeah, that was a great time. Uh, we're kind of in between where snow blowers are. Hopefully we don't need to use them much more this year. So mm -hmm. it's a great time to bring your lawnmower, riding mower, zero turn, whatever you may have. Right. Get them serviced, ready to go for the season. Yeah, you do all the small engines. You do um, chainsaws, right? Correct. Weed whackers, yep. weed blowers. Yep. So bring it all in. I'd say load up that station wagon with the equipment <laughs> right? and just drop it off. Yep. Yeah. Perfect time. What's the turnaround time for, for something? If it's not, if it's more, more of a tune-up in a small sure. repair uh, right now it's about a week turnaround oh that's fast yeah it typically throughout the year that is our busiest okay. time of year is may and june so when it may be a little forget bit longer that their lawnmower exactly. is broken <laughs> right when first time you go to use it and doesn't run <laughs> exactly so right. it may take longer at that point yep. of the year but so beat the rush now before exactly. the grass is actually growing well you've got some awesome new products so tell us a little bit about some of the new battery pack products you have sure uh steel came out with some professional line mm -hmm. uh, of uh, battery products, mm -hmm. uh, weed whacker, a leaf blower, a chainsaw, and a uh, hedge pruner. Okay. And all that actually connects to a battery backpack that you wear That's neat. on your back. Yeah. Uh, there's a cable that comes off of it that attaches to each piece of equipment. Uh -huh. uh, again, more geared towards the professional commercial use. Yes. Uh, but I do have a lot of folks that have large properties around here. Sure. And they need that uh, machine capable of those bigger yards right and then you can uh, that's a universal backpack so your different products all can operate off that same backpack exactly so that's excellent yep. and yep. then it's very clean more a little more clean energy no gas yeah right? a lot and quiet that's uh, not too big of a deal around this area but larger cities uh yeah. noise emissions is a yes. large big topic yeah and it virtually Even for your own protection you know you can wear the uh the head, the the phones, the noise canceling phones, but it's very nice to have a quiet. Have right. a, you'll bother your neighbors and exactly. on Sunday morning. <laughs> well, plus you're out there doing your chores in your yard. You may not necessarily want to have all that noise behind you too. Exactly. So that sounds wonderful. Yep. And you've got two new lawn mowers to the area too. You've got a. a, a automatic robotic one that's right and then another one that the zero turn yep. yeah uh, Husqvarna improved their lineup when it comes to the re residential zero turns kind of revamped the product uh, the deck has been a lot more reinforced it's called a fabricated deck okay versus a stamp deck a uh, lot thicker steel a lot more rugged yes uh, it now comes with a commercial grade engine, a Kawasaki engine, which oh, wow. it, right. So a lot of people prefer to have that professional duty engine, yes. but the price point is still in the residential area. So Wonderful. it's, it's great. It's a great machine, comfortable, easy to yeah. use. And I see the market kind of trending that way. Get away from the riding mowers because the mm -hmm. zero turns are a lot more nimble and you okay. mow your yard a lot quicker. Yeah, and we've got so much terrain bumps and, you yeah. know, being the granite state, you know, th there's yep. a lot of bumps. It's a lot more stable yeah. on hillsides, yes. uh, whereas a tractor, you may, I wouldn't say flip your machine over, but, yeah. you know, you might uh, the tire might be spinning or you might have trouble going up and down where these are a lot lower center gravity, a lot more stable. Great, good. And then how about the automatic? Yeah, we talked about it last year uh, briefly. Um, just wanted to kind of expand on that, what we kind of offer. Um, so most people think they just come in and they buy a robot to go run around the yard. It's a little more involved than that. Mm -hmm. uh, there is some setup. There is some, uh, you know, not every yard is really prepared for that machine. Right. So I would go out to the your yard and check it out, make sure that it can right. it's capable of Make mowing. sure it will actually be mowed by a robot. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you decide you want to go with it, we would do the install of the cable. It's mm -hmm. just like a, a dog fence to kind of keep the thing contained in the yard. Yeah. Uh, do the programming for the machine. And then we would follow up, make sure the machine's running correctly and mowing the, the yard correctly. That's service. That's why we come to Beltates. I mean, you've got real people here people like yourself, 
um, you know, you sell the product, then you then go out to, to the house and, and, and check it all out. And that's, I think, a big difference between Bell Tate's and some of the big box stores. You're not going to get that service no, there. Yeah. Probably not. That's, that's why I love coming here. You guys are my one stop for, for a lot of things, everything from home to paint to, to you know, renovations. So Great. that's why we come here. So thanks for that information. And spring is on its way. I can't all wait. All right. Super. Thanks again, Scott. Thank Take you. care.